Hello and welcome to another series of Alice 3.1 tutorials. So far we've covered uh, installation and four videos on uh, just the basics using a Mars scene. Now we're going to move into a classroom scene and have six more tutorials that cover the basics uh, and kind of the all around useful programming processes within Alice. We're going to start out with a video, this video, on opacity, uh, changing the object's opacity, having them speak, uh, also delays, moving and orient, uh, and then a little bit on cameras. There's more on cameras in another video. I'll post the link right here. Cameras are super cool in Alice. You can use them to really make your uh, make your programs look much more professional with not a lot more work. So uh, watch that other video if you get a chance. Um, it's it's one of the, the coolest techniques in Alice. Uh, next we'll cover properties. Properties are essential. They're what you use to communicate between two procedures, two mini programs in Alice, so that the whole thing, the all of your mini programs, your procedures, behave uh, and w as one co cohesive program. Then we'll move into, in the third video, we'll start covering math, uh, addition, where we add two numbers and ask the user to input numbers. Then we'll cover more math and use uh, introduce uh, introduce and use for and while loops. In Alice they're called count and while loops. Then we'll move into uh, parameters. This is kind of an advanced topic but it doesn't take that much to learn and once you know it you can do a whole lot with parameters simplify your program so much and then finally we'll move into best programming procedures or practices just because um, a lot of times you'll learn about programming but you won't learn how to do programming correctly so that when you come back three months later you're able to figure out what you did and everything makes sense so that's kind of what we're going to be covering in this uh, set of videos and with this and the Mars tutorials you should have enough in those uh, 10 videos to kind of cover about probably 90 percent of what you would get in a typical one semester college class in Alice 3.1 so with that let's get started okay in this uh, video. I've already set up a scene. I've got a classroom set up. If you want to know a scene setup, uh, just watch the first of the Mars tutorials. I kind of have a good video on just setting up your scenes. So we have a scene. We have classroom with desks and a teacher's desk and then a blackboard. And um, I didn't put in a, a teacher character uh, like a human. I wanted to go with more of the whimsical uh, feel that the creators of, of the Alice program did in referencing like Alice in Wonderland. So we have a blue tang fish who's going to be asking us uh, different mathematical questions in this mini game that we're designing. So these six videos are going to design a game that has the fish actually ask us questions and then we as the users will get to enter different input, we'll get to enter things. So. To start out, I want there to be a in this pro, in this lesson we're gonna have there be a two second delay, and then our camera zooms in on the fish in the blackboard, and then the fish starts uh, then then the fish he'll start out invisible and when we zoom up he'll become visible, and then we'll start uh, having him ask us questions or talk to us. So, the first thing on our agenda is creating a delay. Uh, two second delay so that the user when they first come to the game they have a couple seconds where they can look around and kind of orient themselves to the scene. Now to do a delay in Alice is really easy. Click on any object, uh, even the, the floor, and then go to procedures, scroll down to the bottom, and the second to the last option will be this delay button. So just click it and drag it up into your scene and select how long you want it to be. So you can choose any of these five preset options or custom decimal number to choose a certain more a certain other number. So I'm going to just choose two seconds and have there be a two second delay right when I start the program. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to have my camera move forward and the 
and to do that I'm going to go into scene setup or setup scene and over here uh, now def by default uh, this object properties is going to be down so it'll look kind of like this what you'll want to do is click on this arrow next to markers to expand that and now the first thing you want to do is create a start camera so or create a start camera marker so click on the create camera marker here and name it start and what this does is this places a home plate basically so that when when we start moving around within our scene we'll always be able to get back to the start to this view right here and that's pretty essential because otherwise we'll have a hard time getting back to this original view now now we're gonna move forward to where we are kind of zoomed up on the fish in the blackboard so I'm gonna use these controls here start moving forward get to about where I want and then move over a bit okay maybe move up a bit over and now maybe a little rotation move in a little farther maybe actually I like that better and down mm. yeah, that's that's maybe yeah that's pretty good and then actually I'm gonna click on this uh, rotation button and then choose the fish and change how he's looking at us a little bit okay so now I've set this up uh, the way I want and I can go back to default what I'm gonna do is click on this create camera marker here to create another camera marker that will capture this view so create the camera marker here and I'm gonna rename it blackboard because we are looking at the blackboard and the fish so click OK and I've got this camera marker now the, because I've created these two markers I can get back and forth between them in the edit in the uh, camera or in the scene setup really easily to do that to go back to the start all I have to do is click on the start button or the start camera and click on this camera move to axis button so the when I click on that it'll move back to wherever the start poses so I click on that and I go back to the start notice there's the green camera up here and that's this blackboard camera it shows kind of where it's pointing when we run the program that won't show up at all okay so now I'm gonna go back to my edit code and I'm going to uh, actually run a method that will zoom in the cameras from this first pose the start to the second pose the blackboard now to do that I'm gonna click on these options I'm gonna go over to this camera because the camera is the thing that moves from one to the other and under procedures I'm gonna scroll up until I find the move and orient to procedure so I'm gonna drag that drop it in here and have it move to this blackboard because when we uh, over in scene setup when we created the two um, the two poses those two poses start and blackboard were actually added to our list of characters our list of objects so I was able to just click drag the move and orient to and choose this blackboard okay so now we can kind of run it and see what it looks like so there's a two second delay and then we move up right to where the fish is so our camera is working correctly now the next two things we need to do are one we want the fish to be invisible and we want to zoom up to him and then he becomes visible and then uh, the second thing we want to do is we want him to say a few things so to make him start out invisible and then become visible first we have to go back into scene setup and then we have to uh, go into the object properties and right now we've selected the camera what we want to do is we want to select the fish so to select the fish I can either click on him or I can go over in the object tree choose and click on him there or in this uh, selected I can click on that and go down to the blue tang so all three of those are equally as well and notice that when I did that he became selected here and selected there so either one of those will will select him and it'll work all the time so now that I have the fish selected I'm gonna scroll down 
And under opacity, where it says 1 or 100% opaque, meaning fully visible, I'm going to click on that and go to 0, which is totally invisible. And then anything in between, if you were to choose that, would give him kind of a ghost look, where he'll be partially invisible but not fully invisible. So I'll click on that, and now notice he disappeared. We can still see that he's there because of the object that's selecting him, but if I click off of that, or I'm sorry, if I click off of that, he disappears, and you can't tell that he's there. Now we need to go back to Edit Code and make him appear at, at whatever point in the program we want. So we're going to click on Edit Code, go back, and then to select the fish, because he's invisible, I'll click on the drop down and choose Blue Tang. He gets selected. And then there's these three tabs, Procedures, Functions, and Properties for each character. I'm going to click on Properties. And down at the bottom, down at the bottom there's this great um, property called Set Opacity. And I'm going to drag that up, drop it in, and change it from 0 back to 1. I'm sorry, that's, I'm not sure what's going on there. So this will change the blue tang's opacity from 0 back up to 1. And then let's run that and see how that works. So we start out, 2 second delay, zoom up, and now he appears. So that those three buttons are kind of what we want. We want delay, move and orient to for the blackboard, and then set the opacity to one. And then the final thing is we're going to have him say a couple things. So again, you have to click on the blue tang. So choose this, go down, select the blue tang, and then under procedures, the second procedure for most um, most objects is a say. There's also the think which you can use to have the thinking bubble but we're going to do say. So I'm going to drag in three and the first one he's just going to agree to say hello. That's just a default. The next one I'm going to drag in. I'm going to instead of hello I'm going to choose a custom string and I'm going to have him say you must answer the questions because he's going to be the one asking us questions in the, the future lessons. And then the final thing he'll say is, you've won, which will happen at the end of the game, uh, if, if you win. Choose OK. And so now we've kind of set up the uh, different options. And then in between the you must answer the questions and you've won, we're going to stick all the rest of our program. So now we're just going to click run one time to see that everything is running correctly. So two second delay, we zoom up, we have the fish say hello, you must answer the questions, and you've won. And that looks pretty good. One more thing, because this is kind of a long string, I'm going to make it a little longer. Click on add detail, go to duration, change that from one to two seconds, so that it gives us enough time to read that. And then we should be good. So that's kind of how to do delays, uh, have your camera move, set opacity, and have the uh, characters say things. Um, in the next uh, lesson, we're going to cover properties, which are an amazing thing that you can use in Alice. And don't miss out on that lesson. We'll see you next time. Bye.